And welcome to Hannity. And tonight, as Joe Biden continues to deteriorate, now yeah, right before your eyes, one thing does remain constant. The president is, well, no other way to put it, he is a liar. He is not to be trusted ever. We will explain, and we have highlights of his most recent and, frankly, most egregious lies about the border, about his son. Now he's blaming the nationwide crime wave that he created, of course, on Donald Trump. Also tonight, we got Biden, Obama, Clinton fundraising. Where was Donald Trump? He was visiting the wake of the slain NYPD officer. We'll have reactions straight ahead. Also, Vivek Ramaswamy will join us with more on Joe's transgender day of visibility proclamation, which he denies. No, we actually have a copy of it. Laura Trump will be here to respond to a nasty, vicious, vile attack from the DNC. And the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, has a message for the president who just called him uninformed. We'll see who is uninformed. But first, let's turn our attention to what is perhaps Joe Biden's most blatant lie of all. Now, yesterday, when millions of Americans were celebrating Easter, which is the holiest holiday in all of Christianity, well, the White House, they were busy promoting another celebration. Frankly, one they kind of made up. On Easter Sunday, self-proclaimed, devout Catholic, your president, Joe Biden, posted that message right there, quote, Today, on Transgender Day of Visibility, I have a simple message to all trans Americans. I see you, and you are made in the image of God, and you are worthy of respect and of dignity. Now, this celebratory message followed an official Biden White House proclamation, quote, I, Joseph R. Biden, Jr., by the way, not the alias he used to use in emails. President of the United States of America, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024, as Transgender Day of Visibility at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Easter now has been replaced, or at least at the very least is now forced to share uh, a day with a new holiday that the administration clearly prefers, Transgender Day of Visibility on the holiest Christian holiday. Now, the Trump campaign called the move appalling, blasphemous. Other Americans, they were equally outraged. But when the president was harshly criticized for the move, well, he turned to his favorite tactic of all. He just flat out lied. When asked about his trans holiday proclamation, Biden told the press pool, quote, I didn't do that. Maybe he just didn't remember. In reality, Biden did do that in writing and then reminded everyone with a celebratory post on X and other social media platforms like the one right there on your screen. Now, the White House did avoid any posting of anything th that day in its Spanish language accounts and what appears to be, to some, a blatant attempt to hide the day from traditional Catholic Hispanic voters where he's bleeding a lot of support. Meanwhile, the well, famous White House Easter egg roll, that had to wait until today, the day after Easter. Needless to say, any display of Christianity was all but banned from the Biden White House. Even religious-themed painted eggs, they were strictly prohibited. <laughs> you can't make this up. You really can't. This is simply hostility now towards religion. And during his Easter speech, Biden mentioned Jesus how many times? Zero. However, a very confused-looking Joe did shuffle out onto the White House lawn for all the festivities. But for a president who famously goes to bed early and wakes up late, well, the early morning start time was quite difficult for Joe. Hunter, on the other hand, looked pretty wide awake. His father, the big guy, really could have borrowed some of that energy. Take a look. You decide. Enjoy the day, and I'm coming down to do that Easter egg roll just a minute. Thank you all so very, very much. Thanks, everybody. And by the way, say hello to Oyster Bunnies. Come on up, Bunnies. Get up here so they can see you. Come on, get in there. Pretty big bunny, huh? All right, the slurring, mumbling, bumbling confusion continued during a very friendly interview. Oh, with that hard-hitting weatherman, Al Roker, on his favorite network, NBC News, where only Democrats are allowed to appear. Take a look. What is so special about this egg roll? Well, what's so special is this uh, open the, this is the people's house, and for, we expect for over forty thousand people to be here. It's the largest ever, and it just we just like open it up the place and let people see this is their place, mm -hmm. and it always makes me feel good to look out there and see average Americans just walking around looking at what's going on because they own it. 
Now, that's the best Joe could do, despite zero tough questions from the Democratic operatives on NBC. Now, of course, the president isn't just a habitual liar. He is also utterly and completely incompetent. And as a result, Biden is losing support from both moderates and his radical pro-Hamas base, uh, for example. By the way, the terrorist sympathizers, they were out in full force on Saturday. Take a look there on your screen. They are interrupting the evening Easter Mass at St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City, ultimately even rushing the altar. Here's the worst part. Joe Biden is desperate for their vote. Right on cue, he is rolling out his secret weapon. Vice President Harris, who is now attempting to woo far-left voters with, let's see, calls for a ceasefire in Gaza and calls for elections to get rid of the prime minister and the promise of, oh, legalizing weed and drugs and visiting abortion clinics. This White House has drifted far and away from even the days of Bill Clinton. Remember, he once said about abortion, it should be legal and rare. But if Kamala's campaign is anything like her time as borders are, I don't think Republicans have much to worry about. Now, another Biden strategy is name-calling. In an effort to beat Donald Trump, Biden is now trying to be more Trump-like. But his nicknames, yeah, they're pretty lame. He's not a pro at this. For example, so-called Broke Don made billions after Truth Social went public. Another desperate Biden strategy for November, they're bringing back Obamacare? Really? where premiums have skyrocketed since Obamacare, the cost of health care, that's way up, prescription drugs, they're more expensive, taxes are even higher, and the promise, remember, you can keep your doctor, keep your plan, and the average family is going to save $2,500 uh, a year. Well, that was a total lie. Millions of Americans lost their doctors, millions lost their plans, and on average, Americans are paying over 200 percent more, with almost half the country now having only one Obamacare exchange option. Obamacare was just an expansion of Medicaid, paid for by anyone that works for a living. Now, this all reeks of desperation. They're trying to shore up their base, and there are no accomplishments from Biden's presidency to tout. Of course not. Joe Biden has been a failure. Everybody knows it. And if you don't think this is a tipping point election, an inflection point for our country and for the world, uh, in 217 days, you are dead wrong. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.